Hey Cricket, we need to have a talk. You mind taking a seat? So I've been noticing that you've been screwing your customer base lately. And quite frankly, I don't think that's cool anymore. Actually, that's really never been cool. I also heard you were trying to go public. Did you know that the SEC can launch an investigation against you because you're trying to change the terms of the game before things get started to maximize the amount of money that your shareholders would get? Well, if you don't know, your lawyers are pretty stupid. But hey, it's okay. I understand. We all make mistakes. Like trying to limit your customers to 20 uploads for a month on your very, very, very crappy program. The same program that it takes five to seven uploads on average to get correct and to print and to make sure things are perfect and then I can do that to print. So basically, you're limiting me to now two projects a month. I don't think that's quite fair. Matter of fact, I think that type of thing makes me wish that your company kind of goes down in flames a little bit. You guys have the best customer loyalty or had. And you decided to pull your pants down and take a crap all over that loyalty. You did that. But it's okay, I understand. You were focused on trying to make as much money as possible for the people that are going to ultimately invest in your business. I get it. I, I, I'm an inspiring business owner too, at your level. Well, actually not at your level because you're pretty low right now. And I just don't think it's ethically right for what you're doing to your customers. Let me tell you a story. You ever hear of a company called Keurig and how they attempted to make coffee pods DRM so you could not use refillable coffee pods? I mean, because after all, it's just the environment, right? And... You remember how quick they reversed that decision? If you don't, I do. It was pretty quick. So since you're going to change your terms or lose out on a huge market share to Silhouette, which I am currently going to purchase, you're going to find yourself alone and nobody's going to be going nuts over you. Well, the people that don't follow the news may may still like you, but the serious crafters, we, we're not going to like you. All the stay-at-home moms, cosplayers, crafters, even sports team, cheer squads, all of those people use your product. Now, you offered Cricket Access as a $10 a month thing. And, you know, now you're tying it into unlimited uploads. But what if you decide to alter the deal? What if you decide that the $10 customers only get 100 uploads and then you're introducing a $20 unlimited tier or $30 unlimited tier? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how wrong that is? I mean, next thing you know, you're going to be charging us 500 a month. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, 500 a year, like Adobe. And you're going to be forcing us to pay for your crappy program that we are monopolized in because you decided to legally go after third parties that made the design element of the things and the print element easier. But it's okay, I understand. You are too busy trying to make as much money as you can on the backs of the users, but 
competition is a thing. And even though over the past six months I've dropped $800 worth of stuff for Cricut, I have decided that you don't deserve any more of my money. You could have easily started a marketplace, kind of like Etsy, where people can download your, your designs for a nominal fee, of course, and just take a little bit off the top. That way you can still make money. People can still use your software to print things and not have that limitation. And if they should so desire to have Cricut access to access all those fonts and images that you offer, you know, whatever. I get it. I am not without understanding of why you did things. I just think it's wrong, ethically wrong. I mean, what you're doing is no different than me purchasing a car cash, 100%, but the dealership tells me that I can only go 20 miles before I can no longer go any further. And if I want to unlock going further, I need to pay them X amount of money a month. There, there's no difference. And quite frankly, I really, really, really hope that your initial investors pull out for this really terrible decision. But by the way, I am not a financial advisor. I cannot give you any professional advice. The only thing I can say is don't waste your money. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't quite understand. You know, it's almost like some random intern at your company said, oh, this will be a great idea. And you got greedy. But it's okay. We all have life lessons that we learn. And a lot of times those life lessons are things that we take with us for years. And we reflect on those lessons. And we use those lessons to make ourselves better. Or in your case, as a company, you could either get better or um, disappear. Oh, and by the way, if I want to resell my Cricut because I think you're a terrible company, you should not have the authority to be able to brick it if somebody else uploads it to their account. That is beyond jacked up. Matter of fact, that's some, um, you potentially violating some some kind of law, like the doctrine of first sale, that you as a company cannot dictate whether or not I can resell things. You have no right for that. And I really hope that somebody somewhere sues you into oblivion because of it. I know I won't because unfortunately, I don't have the financial resources to fight it. However, somebody out there does. Some, some boss babe, at home making some serious dough probably decided you're killing my business it's time to go on the attack but hey i get it i mean we all do things for greed we all do things that are questionable but i, I will say this y'all y'all messed up big time but it's cool though because you're gonna learn from this. And then maybe in five years, we'll all kick back and have a nice laugh on when Cricket tried to screw over the end users. But, you know, good luck. I, I appreciate it. By the way, if you're checking this out, why don't you leave a message to Cricket? Tell them how you really feel because Right now, I'm feeling very betrayed at a hobby that I was stupid excited to get involved in. And for me, it's just a hobby. It's not my livelihood. It's not any business. I, I, I just like to make things. But there are other vinyl cutters out there, and I'm running far, far, far away from you. Good luck. <laughs>